Okay, so here's the update. I did manage to get a reverse polarity switch for this controller here, so I went ahead and ordered that. It took a while to come in. I actually ordered a waterproof one. When it came in, it was uh, broken, so uh, the guy refunded my money, and, and then I went in to um, Northern Tool Company, and they have some 30 amp uh, reverse polarity uh, toggle switches. So I went ahead and bought one of those and this is how it works here. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. It's already on. So then you just flip the switch and there it is. And when you want to go so you go neutral and it turns it off and then it reverses. So, and then you can leave the speed where it was. So if you're cruising real slow and then you're just like, oh, you know, and you go the other way, it'll stay that same speed, you know. And then from here, you can also control it real slow. You can even turn it off if you want from here. So crank it all the way up, you know, and then you're like, oh, crap. You know, going too fast, going too far, you know, throw it in reverse real fast. So, probably don't recommend going, <laughs> throw it in reverse at a high speed like that. I don't know, maybe it's not good for the motor. But, um, anyway, so that's what I got so far. Uh, so, I didn't even, I just completely bypassed this thing. Even though originally I wanted to use this thing, because I thought the switch looked cool. You know, with all the writing and dials and on there and whatnot. But this is just as good. So next I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate uh, this is just a Tupperware thing I got from AGB, my local uh, uh, grocery store. And, you know, it's very, it's very cheap. I think it was $2. So, and it actually fits this uh, controller in there really nice. And I should be able to fit the toggle switch and everything. And... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but uh, I did buy a the battery meter, and um, I was thinking about putting it in here like this, but it might be too much crap or stuff going in this box here already, so I don't want to you know, do too much. I might put this battery meter somewhere else and just kinda use this for the controller um, so that's about it I'll uh, jump back in when I get this thing all made up here and show you what it looks like alright so I'm back I uh, went ahead and drilled two holes one for the toggle switch right here I hot glued the whole uh, um, circuit board in there <clears throat> to the bottom of the Tupperware and I drilled a second hole for the uh, the other switch and you can see as the power goes on you can see the LED indicator and you put the toggle switch forward and there she is she's already spinning I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the speed up and there you go And now I'm going to stop the toggle switch and put it in reverse. That is reverse. Or, yeah, that's reverse. So forward, reverse. So, and then you can, you can even leave it on forward if you want, you know, and just kind of turn it off here, and then when you're ready, it's an easier switch, you know, the toggle switch is kind of stiff, you know, it's a 30 amp, so, but you could easily switch it if you had to, it's just because it's loose here, so it's, it's hard, but this is a lot softer switch here, so you can just turn it off like that, you know. 
Now, I added some wire here just to make it long enough to do this demonstration, but this is definitely not the length that I would leave it. Uh, so, just be advised if you are doing this, uh, make sure you measure your kayak and how far you know it is from the transom to uh, your seat where you want to be controlling it. So, and the other thing to think about is where you want to mount this thing. Just in case anybody was con uh, wondering how the reverse polarity sw toggle switch works, as you can see here, it has uh, <coughs> cross tabs going here to reverse the polarity. All you have to do is just match up the motor, positive, negative, and then the battery, positive, negative. Very simple. It's already ready to go. All you got to do is just plug it in. So, this is it here. That's about it. 30 amp, 12 volt. Uh, I think 30 amps enough. You know, it's only a 20 pound thrust. So, anyway. If you like this video, subscribe. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any comments, Go ahead and post comments and I will answer them. Um, other than that, I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.